like I say, it's good to be here with you once again this morning. And uh, sorry for being a little bit late. Uh, we got here, we had to situate everything. But, uh, you know, today uh, I, I, I thought that it would be really good to be able to come up uh, back here at home, I guess, is uh, when we begin to bring the message today. And, uh, you know, it's got us thinking a little bit about home. So, uh, uh, you know, I just I just wanted to be here. So, you know, a lot of times I know we can get to longing for that. And I wished everybody else was with, here, uh, with us here today. Uh, you know, uh, maybe here for long, it won't be too long, we'll be back. Uh, but you know what, I'm, I'm thankful this morning to be able to get up. Uh, God allowed me to do that and, uh, you know, give me the gift of life today. And, uh, uh, you know, and as I begin to be searching uh, this morning, I've listened to a lot of preaching. Uh, I got to be with Brother Billy a few minutes ago, sang a few songs and stuff like that. Uh, it's been a real good day with the Lord already. And so, you know what, this is just kind of icing on top of the cake. Uh, but we're thankful to have you with us this morning and uh, each and every one of you. And I... You know, I, I we don't have our, our mic system and stuff up here, and I, I usually I don't need a mic though. So, uh, but I, I think I can get it loud enough where we can hear it all and everything. Uh, but you know, we've been going through a little bit of changes out here at Faith General Baptist. Uh, we've been uh, uh, maybe adding a sound room and stuff like that because uh, we're planning on uh, when we come back being able to uh, still go Facebook Live with all of our services now. I know a lot of uh, churches are maybe doing that already, and uh, you know what I, I, we see it's a good thing that the Lord has uh, really worked and. Uh, uh, this way, so now we're going to make some changes, maybe to uh, to to be able to do it all the time now, not just because we're uh, staying at home, but uh, you know it's going out in many different places. So we thank the Lord for that. I, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm going to give all uh, credit uh, or the credits deserved, and I, I, you know, it ain't anything that any of us have done. And I, I, you know, what we heard the governor up in New York, I know he talked about quite a lot. Uh, you know, he he wasn't willing to give any credit to God for. Uh, uh, this over this pandemic, but uh, you know, I'm here to tell you this morning. Uh, anything that's been done uh, has been at the hand of God. It ain't been because nobody else done it. Uh, uh, without Him, uh, there's nothing that we that we can do uh, of ourselves. But uh, with Him, uh, all things are possible. So you know, I'm thankful for that this morning. It's not contingent upon me. Uh, uh, but you know what? He's got His hands in on everything. So uh, uh, once again, we 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 thank you for tuning in with us, and uh, I pray that you be blessed by coming this way. And uh, uh, maybe we'll sing maybe one song. Uh, uh, to get it started out, and we'll get to the message this morning. Now, you know this song right here. Uh, I used to love this when I was a, when I was a kid. Still love it today. And uh, uh, but I want you to listen to the words of it. I'm gonna try my best to sing it. It gets a little high. But... <laughs> when pangs of death seized on my soul, uh, to the Lord I cried, till Jesus came and made me whole. Uh, would not be denied. I would not be denied. I would not be denied till Jesus came and made me whole. I would not be denied. As Jacob in the days of old, I wrestled with the Lord and instant with a courage bold I stood upon his word I would not be denied I would not be denied till Jesus came and made me whole I would not be denied. Old Satan said my Lord was gone and would not hear my prayer. But praise the Lord, the work is done and Christ the Lord is here. I would not be denied. I would not be denied till Jesus came and made me whole. Oh, I would not be denied. <clears throat> hey Amen. Once again, we, we're thankful this morning that we were not denied. And, I, uh, you know, I was looking over the words that song a minute ago, and I, I think back to that night when the Lord dealt with me and, uh, uh, you know, what began to uh, press upon my heart, convict me uh, uh, that I was alienated without him. And uh, uh, you know what? And, and I think about that prayer that prayed. I don't know the words that were said. I can't go back and tell you exactly how it came out. But uh, all I knew is that night that I wasn't going to be denied. And uh, all those things come up. And, uh, old Satan, I'm sure he was there. And, uh, he was trying his best. And uh, you know what? He was there afterward. I know that for a fact. 
uh, trying his best to make sure. But you know what? Uh, if you seek after the Lord this morning, uh, uh, he'll not let anything happen to you. You can't be denied. Uh, uh, you know what? And he, what's rightfully yours, uh, uh, you know what has been made rightfully ours because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Not anything that we've done, uh, uh, unless we boast about it, but that's what the, what God was able to do. That, that perfect, perfect craftsmanship that he had. So uh, uh, we're thankful for that this morning. We're thankful for salvation. Uh, everything he's able to do for us. And uh, uh, y'all be much in prayer for us this morning. We do nothing of ourselves. I don't know what the Lord have us do. Uh, uh, a little bit short on breath this morning, as you can probably tell when I was singing there. I've been a good boy. I took my medicine and everything, but it's still, I guess, the weather and everything. So y'all be much in prayer for us. I, uh, we desire it this morning, but I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I, I'd love to be here in the house of God and uh, uh, speaking about God's word. And uh, it's enabled me to get through things in my life. And I I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful for it. And, uh, uh, but we're going to go to the Lord in prayer real quick, and then we'll get in the message this morning. Uh, dear Lord, we'd like to thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us, dear Lord. We thank you for getting another opportunity to gather in your house today, dear Lord. And I uh, would pray, dear Lord, that you just have your uh, uh, way in the midst of this service, dear Lord. And uh, uh, let your word go out and uh, and, uh, and direct it in the path that it needs to go, dear Lord. And uh, uh, touch the hearts that it would have to be, you'd have it touched, dear Lord. And I uh, uh, pray, dear Lord, that we have all open minds and open hearts uh, uh, ready to receive you this morning, dear Lord. And uh, uh, the spirit that they will be able to move from breast to breast, uh, though may, we may be far away today, dear Lord. We know that you uh, have the ability to reach all the ones that are out there, dear Lord. And uh, uh, so we place it in your hands. And uh, I pray today, dear Lord, for the churches out there today uh, uh, that may be uh, uh, wanting to gather back together, dear Lord, and uh, uh, maybe we're not able to right now, but uh, uh, we thank you that you made a way, dear Lord, and uh, uh, just as you always have, uh, whenever we were uh, seen to be down and out and no way was seen, uh, uh, you made that way, and we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, uh, uh, that you give, dear Lord, that we can accept him as our personal Savior uh, and be with him forevermore, so we thank you this morning uh, uh, for everything you've done for us in life, uh, uh, we thank you for what you're going to do, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. And uh, uh, this morning, uh, we got a little thought. And, uh, uh, we placed it there maybe in the in the, uh, the, the, the description of what it was. And, uh, you know, we've been thinking about this uh, uh, for quite a while now, maybe all week long. And, uh, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of statements that have been made uh, about things getting back to normal. And, uh, you know, as I was seeing these, and I, I understand what people say. And, I, I you know, what I, like I said earlier, I, I have a desire to be back in the house of God with, with my, my church family and uh, uh, to share a, a little portion with them. And, uh, uh, you know, what that's what you do. And uh, I want to make this statement, too, is that uh, uh, Facebook Live is good. And uh, it's good that we can use it right now to do this. But uh, uh, when it comes time to gather back together, uh, it'll never replace going to the house of God and uh, uh, being amongst God's people. Uh, the Bible tells us to forsake uh, not the assembly of yourselves together or some have. And, uh, you know what, and I, I've been guilty of that in time past, uh, uh, getting out of the house of God, thinking I didn't need it. Uh, uh, but you know what, I'm going to tell you this morning, I'm going to make a true statement to you about myself, and, uh, and I hope that you feel this way too. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I've got going on in my life. Uh, uh, you know what, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow i got to make sure my wife gets to, and uh, uh, you know what, and, uh, maybe you're going to do a couple of things this week, might get to go fishing. Uh, things like that. All those things are things that I want to do and uh, maybe I need to do, but uh, there is one thing that I have to do. And uh, uh, you know what? And, I, and I'm not ever going to get away from it uh, uh, thinking this way. I hope and uh, uh, you know what? Keep myself in tune with the Word of God. It lets us know uh, is that I need to be in the house of God around God's people. And uh, uh, you know what? That's why it's so hard on us right now. Uh, why we think that, uh, uh, you know, everything's uh, uh, doom and gloom right now. But I, you know what? I'm going to tell you. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about the situation we're in right now and everybody wanting to get back to normal. And uh, uh, there's one thing about it. Uh, you know, this whole thing going on uh, from the very beginning, I, I understood myself and I hope that you did too, but maybe you can understand it when we read the Word of God today. Uh, uh, you know, I hope you know that God has a plan in store for this. Uh, each and everything that's been done, e everything that's taken place, I, I know we, we don't seem to understand why, and I, I want to direct back to the scripture we've used just about every time we've been on here, is that His ways are above our ways. We don't understand uh, oftentimes the mind of God and how it works, but uh, you know what? It's our, it's our job and our duty by the Word of God to try to get there. And so I hope this morning that you maybe can get there and realize that God does all things for a purpose. Uh, you know what he intends on uh, to, to uh, mold and make uh, his children into what he desires them to be. And you know what? And I'm thinking about getting back to normal. Uh, you know what? You may hear me say that quite a few times. And, uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you another statement I'll probably reiterate many a times while we're going through this is that the reason why I believe that God has uh, maybe uh, uh, sent this upon us, and, uh, and like I said, uh, the Brother Daniel said this week he may have sent it upon us. He may not have, but he allowed it to happen either way. But uh, you know what I want you to get this morning is, is that probably normal wasn't working. 
You know what I, and, and I'm, I'm going to make another statement to you, is I believe that when this is all said and done, is it, it won't be normal anymore. It's going to be changed. Uh, that's what God does to, uh, to us today. You know, I know that when I was saved as a seven-year-old boy and uh, he gave me exactly what I needed to make heaven my home, that spirit that dwells within me, uh, that each and every step of my life, if I walk in the spirit, I can please God. But you know what? As uh, time goes on and that spirit uh, constantly abides in me and I, it, uh, uh, you know, there's something that takes place in my life. Uh, uh, there's a forever changing thing that, that begins to revolve. Uh, uh, the more you use it, uh, uh, the bigger it grows, and I do believe. And I, uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you this morning, uh, I, I know that it, it takes time in that. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, God has always had an order in the way he does things. And, uh, and it's no different with us today, no different with the church. Uh, uh, we've got to allow God to use us in the way that he would have us do in order for him uh, to allow growth to happen. You know what? I, I don't know. And uh, the granddaddy had, had a, a lot of the same thoughts Steve Bradford this morning. If you don't know who my granddaddy is, and uh, uh, you know, and I, I, I refer to him as Brother Granddaddy, but uh, uh, you know, I was thinking this morning as he was beginning to speak, uh, uh, he, had, he had a lot of long lines of this same thought right here. And uh, uh, you know, about us being a peculiar people. And uh, uh, you know what? Uh, it's time that we stand out. And uh, maybe we wasn't standing out enough. Maybe maybe we wasn't there being that peculiar people the way that he he needed us to be. Uh, uh, so you know, uh, I, now I'm seeing people now that I never thought. And, now, you know what, I've got a prayer request from people uh, that never would uh, uh, get on Facebook before, but now we see this way. And I, like I say, I'm not here to praise Facebook, I'm here to praise God, uh, uh, because he's able to work on us in a way uh, to make us realize, uh, uh, you know what, I can't think of anything better today except to think about how God would begin to humble his servants down to a way uh, that he can use them. And I, uh, you know what, when we have too much in our life, uh, a lot of times it gets in the way of us serving God. But uh, uh, now what we see uh, is now that everything's been taken away, uh, uh, the right to come to the house of God. Uh, uh, we got a longing for it. Thank God for the longing for it. But uh, uh, you know what? Maybe it's to show us something uh, uh, that we clear ourselves out of the way uh, uh, that God can move within us once again. And uh, uh, you know what? Like I said, and I'm, like I said, I'm probably going to say it many a times is that normal was not working. You know what? I'm not saying that everything that your church done or everything you've done in the church was no good. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I do know, and uh, just like as many of y'all have seen and heard, over the past few uh, uh, years, I guess it would be, uh, is that so many people talk about uh, how it used to be back in the old days, how it used to be back when we were younger, and uh, uh, we've seen the church pews filled, and uh, uh, you know what, revivals, uh, uh, 10, 15 people at a time uh, going to the altar and being saved, and uh, uh, you know what, uh, how many longing uh, uh, for those times to come back, and uh, uh, you know what, uh, another statement that was made this morning, uh, uh, you know what, uh, I, I believe the church ought to look this way, but uh, uh, we think about the past so much, but we don't ever even consider uh, what might be in the future. We don't, and I'm going to tell you what, I believe that the church uh, today is supposed to have a vision of what might be lying ahead. And I, you know what, I know, I'm not saying that I know what's coming. I'm not uh, predicting the future or anything like that. Uh, uh, but I do know that the Bible tells me that a people without vision will surely perish. The church is supposed to have a vision. Now, uh, because you know what? One day after a while, and uh, one other thing I think we've said every time we've been on here is that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for a church uh, that's without spot or without blemish. And, uh, uh, so it's going to be here. We've got to make the decision to whether we're going to be the ones that he's coming back for or not. We're going to have to make the decision if we're going to live for him right now. Uh, so you know what? Look to the future. Look what is lying ahead. Uh, get yourselves ready. Uh, uh, make sure everything else is prepared up. And uh, uh, prepare yourself. Look within your own self. And then you'll be able to fix uh, uh, what's within. And, uh, and whenever that happens within each and every one of us, then the church is built up. And then we see something rolling forward. And, uh, and I told the church this, maybe the last Sunday we was here, is that whenever you see momentum, uh, the church rides on momentum. God sends momentum by. And it it's up to us to begin to gather ourselves in a particular situation that we realize that momentum and grab a hold onto it that we may be able to go forward. You know what? Well, God's people are not meant to go backwards. They're not meant to stay in the same place. They're meant to roll on forward. Uh, uh, you know what? Because uh, that's the only way victories had. Uh, you know what? You don't just give up and obtain victory. You don't go backwards and obtain victory. Uh, uh, you look to what lies ahead. Your eyes are on the prize and uh, uh, you're waiting for it. Uh, uh, so normal don't cut it. You know what? I'm going to tell you. Uh, uh, go back and listen to what uh, uh, Brother Granddaddy said this morning. Uh, you know what he said? We've got to be a peculiar people. And normal ain't going to cut it with God. God don't want normal. Uh, you know what? Now, he's a winning God, and he's always wanted everything he's ever done. Uh, so he expects winners. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think about that song we just sang a while ago, how we couldn't be denied. Uh, uh, you know, that's a winning scenario right there. 
You know what? And I'm going to tell you, as we look at, and I'm not saying that we go into a, 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 a maybe a revolution or anything like that. That's not what I'm calling for. What I'm calling for right now is that we begin to allow ourselves to be molded by God into the next step, the next phase the church is in. You know what? And I'm not here to promote anything else other than what God would have us do next. The will of God, if you would. But you know what? There's a scripture that we use quite a lot, and I don't think we pay attention to it uh, too awful good. And you know what? I've quoted it many times and misquoted it a lot of times, but I, I want to go to Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, 16th verse. What does it say here? It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, wherein where is the good way? And walk therein, and, sh and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. And you know that scripture right there, and I, I, I wanted to spend some time maybe dissecting what this says and what I believe the church can take out of, uh, like I say, uh, uh, getting back to normal is what we're looking for. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, we need to know what normal is. You know what? Normal is not staying in the same way that we've been uh, over the last few years. Uh, uh, you know what? If you want to see souls saved uh, to the magnitude they were, uh, maybe in the first days of the church with 3,000 souls to say, uh, you know what? With God, all things are possible. It can happen. But there's got to be something that's got to change from what we're doing right now uh, to what they were doing back then. Getting back to the old past. You know, I, I was uh, looking at this scripture and I think about how many times that I've heard it said. And uh, uh, you know what it says? Stand ye in the ways. You know, uh, don't forget that that's there to begin with. You know, there's one thing I do know about God is God is a God that never changes. And he never does anything different than what he started off doing in the first place. His standards were set in creation. From the very beginning of the time, he had not changed since then. The plan of salvation was there from the very foundation of the world. He did not change his mind as the years went on. It's always been there. God does not change. He says, stand ye in the ways. God had set his law in the very beginning when he created this old world. And now he expects it to say the same. So stand ye in the ways. The ways of God. The ways that he's always intended. We're not going to get anything different today. We're not going to get anything different uh, uh, just because of the style of music we play or maybe the, uh, or the, light, the more lights we put on the stage or, or how many people we got going to church, even that. God, and once again, I, and I, this is one thing I believe with all my heart, He is not a God of quantity. He's a God of quality. You know what? Uh, knowing that that quality right there was a standard that He set that we are to go by. So you stand ye in the ways. What ways are those? Go back. Where's His law at? What did He tell them? You know what? He brought them out of Egypt and he, he began to give them them laws right then and there. Once we know, we teach our kids uh, when they're back there in Sunday school and uh, they know them by heart and a lot of times. Uh, uh, you know what? All these other laws that were given uh, uh, down that the children of Israel conduct themselves, it was all to lead them up that they'd be a peculiar people like was already stated this morning. But now what we see is that that right there has evolved because of man's hand. You know what? And I like to say, uh, uh, God's law was always from the very beginning of time had its own purpose uh, uh, to, pr to provide a way and show men that they could not keep it because they're not God. We have a dependency on God. Yeah, God set it up that way. Stand ye in the ways. God has a standard that has been set that men do not follow by because they simply have that nature about them. So stand ye in the ways. If you want to see things happen, if you want to see things uh, uh, come to pass the, the way that we've longed for for so long, then you've got to stand in the old ways, the ways that God has laid out, the ones he tells you to seek after. He says, ask for the old path. What are the old paths? We need to start asking a question. Ask to get back to it. Ask what the word of God says. Don't change just because it's 2020. Don't change just because uh, we're doing things differently. Uh, like I say, uh, we're going into something we ain't never done before. You know, a lot of preachers have been on this Facebook thing right here. They ain't never even been on Facebook at all. All they know is to preach the word of God. And that's where we got to get back to. To know that the word of God's always been the same. No matter what the circumstances are. Don't change just because the world's changing. You know what? I, that's where we see today where the church is falling short. And uh, uh, why so many are going. And you can't tell the difference in them and the world. is because they have forgot to ask that question. What are the old paths? Get back to the word of God. It says, stand ye in the ways. The ways of God were there in the scripture. Ask for the old paths. Ask the way that he laid them out. You know, if we can do that today, I, I, you know what? I, I don't think we'll be normal anymore. You know what? I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I don't have, I don't have a, a bigger desire in my life than not to be normal. 
You know what I'm, I'm, I'm I, whenever it gets to a point in time to where any man in any situation in life is sick and tired of being sick and tired, he always desires to make a change. And I, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. And I, uh, we live in a time where people just don't want to go to church. That, that's, uh, that's all there is to it. And, uh, uh, you know, they try everything they can to get out of it. But I'm going to tell you what right now, uh, and, and I want to stress the message today uh, that, uh, uh, that you're needed. You're needed in the house of God. You and I'm going to tell you why. Why do I say that? And I I, I can't explain to you in, in many words how good it is is to be in this house of God right here. I know I can worship God anytime. I'm not saying that. I, I believe anytime I can feel His Spirit. I, it goes with with me. It don't. It's not here at this place. Uh, it's where I bring it with me. I, he dwells within me. But I, I cannot explain to you though what the change is is when you get around God fearing people. And uh, you, uh, a testimony is said. A song is sang. Uh, uh, maybe you wasn't thinking, but the Spirit of God chose to move through that. There, 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 there are things that we do not understand, but God will show up if we'll place ourselves back where He told us to be. He says, "Thank you in the ways. Ask for the old path. The old path is that you place yourself in the center of God's will, and He's going to take care of the rest." It's not going to be any. It's not going to be yourself. It's not going to be mom and daddy. It's not going to be a uh, uh, member sitting right next to you or anything like that. It will be God's spirit that comes by and lays His hand upon the service. And I'm going to tell you when it flows from breast to breast, and uh, uh, you begin to see things happen, and uh, uh, there ain't nothing like it. Uh, uh, you can't replace that. I, so, like I say, I, I don't have a desire anymore in my body to, to, uh, to be abnormal. I, uh, you know what I'm going to tell you? I, I'm, I'm getting uh, uh, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, uh, we pray. We ask. We uh, that the Lord come by and do these things and send a great revival to our land, but at the same time, uh, we're not willing to act upon it. Uh, uh, we're not asking the right questions. Uh, uh, we're getting about ourselves, uh, uh, trying to go out and do things all on our own. Uh, that's not the way it happens. Uh, uh, get back to a point in time where we're following our knees, uh, humble ourselves down, and ask God to come in. Uh, ask Him to come in and make that move for us. And uh, uh, You know what I'm going to tell you? Uh, uh, God's God of action. Uh, you ask you to do it, you better be able to act upon it. And, uh, uh, you know what? A prayer with legs. That's what it's got to be today. Uh, uh, the church isn't doing anything else any different today. Uh, uh, they've gotten slothful. And, uh, uh, the Lord's not pleased with that. What He tells us over the book of Revelations, uh, he'd rather that we were hot or cold. Uh, if we were lukewarm, he'd spew us out of our mouth. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, uh, the Christian people better be realizing what that scripture's saying. And, uh, it's not just the laws out there in the world. Uh, he's talking to people that claim to be of God and they're not doing godly things. You know what I'm going to tell you? Uh, you may not be going out there in the world and uh, dabbling in drugs and drinking and all that. And, uh, uh, you may be even on ch in church on Sunday morning, but uh, if you're not seeking after what godly uh, can be more godly in your life, uh, a holier way of living, uh, uh, then you are not living the way that God intended on you living. That's not what I say. That's what the Word of God says. Uh, be ye holy for I am holy. That's another scripture I've echoed many times. I've heard many preachers say it. Uh, you know what? Uh, holiness is a, it needs to be a characteristic in your life. It needs to be what your life is about. Uh, it can't be a name title. I, I know a lot of people like to use it as a name title. That ain't what it is today. Uh, it is today. Uh, and the scripture tells us that's the way you've got to be. That's got to be a characteristic of your salvation and what is shown to the world. You know what I'm going to tell you? Uh, those old paths right there, we long for them. Get back in them. Uh, uh, you know what? But when we go back to the old paths, we realize that what is normal to us it's not so normal to God. Can we really say that we're normal? Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm beginning to ask myself this, this morning, because in order to say that you're normal, that means you have to be consistent. That means that e each and every day, you're the same day in, day out. Are we really normal? Because the only one that I know is consistent day in, day out, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, amen, is Jesus Christ. So you know what? Only normal there is is what God's standard was in the very beginning. So that's why we got to ask what the old paths are. It says, where is the good way? The good way is the one that's been set up. There's no good of me. Uh, there's no good of you this morning. And I don't know who's on here and I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just here to tell you what the word of God says. There's none good, no, not one. You know what I'm going to tell you? Uh, and that, that, and you're, not, you're not alone. If you feel that way, you're not alone this morning. Uh, there ain't none of us. I don't care how I many preachers are standing behind pulpits this morning and preaching the word of God. Uh, uh, ain't none of them good. The only goodness is, is what God's able to put there. The only goodness is, is whenever you can look back to the old ways and uh, the old past, uh, uh, stand in those ways, uh, uh, become a part of what God wanted you to be, and then God places good in your life. Uh, what is good? I believe good today is sharing the gospel. I, I believe good today is seeking out, uh, seeking out the ways that God would like to move next. You know, I'm going to tell you, as a church, I, I think that our vision is, 
And I, and I can say, it can be in many different ways, but ultimately our vision for a church needs to be focused upon what God needs to, needs to lead forward in the next step. Not that we be happy and, and content with what we've got. You know what I can say? Hey, God, everything that's in here, everything I've got, everything that's partaking of this church uh, has been God-given, and I thank God for every little bit of it. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I, I think back to, uh, uh, you think about Jacob uh, when he wrestled that, he wanted that double portion. You know what? If you don't find yourself, when you get something from God, when you get that uh, that feeling of that spirit, if you don't find yourself seeking after more day in and day out, there's something wrong. Find an altar. I encourage you this morning. I, I don't want to see you fall. I, I, I want to see you keep going forward because you know what? If a man uh, takes his eye off of Christ, he will surely fall. And, I, and I'm not going to preach any different. I think that's what the Word of God says. I, uh, you know what? I'm not here just because I'm on Facebook this morning going to tell you something's going to tickle your ear. You know, you need to hear the Word of God. That's the most loving thing that I can do. That's why we're so different from the world. That's why, uh, why we can't uh, afford to be back to normal. Why we have to step forward and tell the Word of God like it is. Because you know what? Once again, the Word of God is, all, I believe it's full of love. I believe it is straightforward. Uh, yes, it'll prick the heart. It'll, it'll make a man realize and things like that. Uh, and, and sometimes it don't feel so good, but it's all about love. It was the love that God had for man to, to reconcile man back to him. And I, the most loving thing we can do is preach the gospel without fear or favor of man. You know what? Now, if I give it to you that way, I know that God will speak to that universal language of love and, and, and show you he might bring you down for a minute, but it's only to bring you back up. You know what I can say? Hey, you look at me and you say, well, God surely couldn't have done this to us. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, he brought us down to surely bring us back up. And I, I can't tell you anything better this morning to know right now that where we're at at this point in time, uh, uh, there's only better days ahead. Uh, what does a Christian believe? Uh, I am going to tell you this. If you, you need to believe this this morning, uh, the best is yet to come. Uh, everything that we're looking forward to, uh, uh, what's lying ahead for us, if you have been saved by the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ, know that there is something better. Wait. So what we see right here is the scripture goes on, and uh, ye shall find rest to your souls. You know what? It, does, it doesn't change. This is Old Testament right here, but throughout the whole word of God, it doesn't. It never changes. You go up through the gospel, uh, uh, Jesus coming about in the, in the world and uh, uh, teaching that way. Uh, he teaches the same thing. Uh, if you'll follow it, uh, seek out the old paths. Uh, uh, seek to please God. Do the things that are of the will of the Father. Uh, uh, find rest for your souls. Go into what Paul's letters. Uh, each and every time he encourages the church uh, uh, to follow in the way. Uh, if you'll follow in that way, uh, and I'm going to tell you what, uh, uh, we know what the scripture says. Uh, uh, you know what? There's a wide and a, a broad path uh, that many will go down therein, and, uh, uh, but it leads to destruction. But there is a straight and narrow uh, uh, that a man can follow after, uh, uh, which is the path that's set before by Jesus Christ. Uh, if we'll follow in that way, a uh, uh, great reward lies at the end. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, uh, you know, just as it was said right there, we will not walk therein. Uh, you know what, there's a lot of people out there today. I know that everybody understands my voice today. And I, I have no doubt that I believe it's going to reach some uh, uh, that don't know the Lord and the free part of forgiveness of sin. And I believe that they need to be saved and, uh, and they can. But there's going to be some that will say, I will not. I will not walk therein, but I encourage you right now. Then I've got to make my plea to you this morning uh, uh, because I believe God has already sent out the invitation. Uh, is it uh, following your knees? Call out to him. Ask him to come in uh, because I'm going to tell you uh, uh, there's destruction that lies ahead. Uh, uh, you know what? What does it say in the 17th verse? And I, I want to get to something right here. Uh, uh, what, and I'm going to go into uh, verses right here. Uh, uh, what it is like to be uh, uh, maybe normal. What we were doing. Where the old, uh, uh, versus where the old past will take us. It says, also I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Well, we live in a day and an age now that's trying to seek out new ways. Uh, uh, new ways about going and doing things. And uh, uh, you know what? Normal to a lot of people is not godly. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, like I said, getting back to it. Uh, normal is not working. Uh, it, it's not, it's not godly. And I'm going to tell you, there have been souls saved over the last few years. And I, I wouldn't take that away for nothing. But normal is not working for us a lot of times. Because when we get normal by the worldly standards, uh, you know what? It's directly against God, always. There's no, there's no change or variableness in that at all. It's because God stays the same and the world is leading away from it. But you know what? He's done them watchmen. They said to, uh, to listen for the trumpet. You know what? Uh, I'm looking to a day and an age now to where well, I believe that a lot of times the church has lost its identity. We forget what we're in there for. We forget what the normal is. We forget the old past. Uh, we don't stand in them anymore. The reason why that is is because we lost sight of what we are supposed to be doing. You know what? He didn't tell us to seek after signs. 
It, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, if you look out in the world, and I, and I know I've heard about every preacher talk about this on Facebook, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I do agree with it. There have been so many things that the Scripture talks about that are happening right now. The Scripture on a daily basis, I believe, is being fulfilled. And then when it's all fulfilled, I believe it'll be that time. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, uh, thinking about all those signs and everything, you, as a Christian person today, you know what, if you're lost and out there in the world and don't know Him, uh, you know what, you need to look and see that the Word of God is all truth. And when it's all truth, it says that a man must be born again. So today be the day that you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That, that'd be what He wants from you. But if you've been born again, saved by the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ today, uh, we're not to seek after signs. We're not just looking. Don't, don't be marveled. And I've seen so many people be marveled over how things are happening, how things are coming to be. And I, you know what? It gets me excited. I, you know what? It, it might be great and terrible to a lot of people, but at the same time, I know that as these things are fulfilled, I, my time is just growing up. Uh, he says, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. My redemption is coming. But you know what? I'm not to look after those signs. That's not what I'm here for. That, that's not what, uh, what I what I'm based my work upon. That's not what I base my normal uh, uh, my, my normal uh, to. You know what? My normal is to be based upon God. And what did God do? He said, watch me enough to tell you to listen for the sound of the trumpet. Uh, watch and listen. Talk about so many times throughout the word of God. It's given in many different places that uh, you're to be watchful. You're to open your ears. He that has an ear, let him hear. Things like that have been said. But you know what? There's going to be something that's going to happen. Whenever that day comes, when the Lord comes back to get his children, uh, uh, you know what? You want to be caught in the normal? You can be caught up with the normal now, our standards, or you can be caught up without, uh, after the old path. But this is what I get right here. Uh, the old path versus the new path. You know what I'm going to tell you right now? And I, I'd like to say, if you want to, uh, the, the straight and narrow path versus the broad uh, path that leads to destruction. But it says over in the scripture right here, and I've read the scripture time and time again, but I believe this is how it's going to happen. I, you know what Paul writes a letter in the first book of Thessalonians, fourth chapter, uh, uh, to give comfort to those that uh, I think that the end times are drawing near. Uh, no, ain't no doubt that there have been some false prophets that came by and told them uh, uh, that, that it was coming the end time, and uh, uh, they quit their jobs, they stopped doing what they were doing. Uh, they fell into a new normal. You know what? Now I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's where a lot of people have gotten over the last few years. They, they've fallen into a new normal, but it's not the normal that God set up. It's not by his standard. It's not the old path. See, they got off the path. They followed down a new one. So Paul is here to set them straight because he re re reiterates right here. He said, verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. And I want you to notice, this is talking about the end times right here, uh, whenever everything's going to come to be. Now, you know what? You're not to be looking for anything else. You've been saved by the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the things that are in the word of God have to happen. They have to come to be. It's going to be a part of life. But in all those things, don't lose sight of what we're supposed to be doing. What we're supposed to be doing is listening and watching because whenever he comes, he said he'll descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, get back to the old paths. Uh, uh, seek them out. Ask what they are. Ask yourself through prayer, uh, through searching out the scripture uh, and, and prepare yourself to be watching and listening. Prepare yourself to get back into the normal that God said. You know what? Like I say, hey, over the last few years, and I'm, I'm here to tell you, I I, and I've seen it. I know that I ain't telling a lie when I say it like this. And you may disagree with me. That's all right, too. Uh, that's between you and God. But normal ain't working. Because the normal we've got into now is not the one, the normal that God expected of his people. It's not the way that he fashioned from the very foundation of the world when he predestined the people that would walk after him uh, in the holiness that he set before us, that we'd walk that way. So I'm going to tell you what. Uh, if you're planning on going back to normal, if you're planning on uh, going back to where you was when all this started, I, I'm afraid to tell you right now that you're going backwards. Uh, there, there is no standing still. There, there's no staying in place. There's no holding it until a later time. You either get better or you get worse. Uh, there's either one side of the fence or the other side. Uh, you know what? God's always been particular on that to let you know that there is not a neutral stance that a Christian can take. I don't believe a, God, a man of God can take a neutral stance. You can't, you can't uh, uh, beat around the bush. And I, you know, I heard this morning about uh, a question... I was listening to King, King's Radio, and a lawyer came on there. He was a Christian lawyer, and, uh, and a woman that wrote in and asked him a question. Uh, maybe we need to be a little more vague about uh, about uh, how how the church stands on uh, sexuality and things like that. And uh, 
uh, you know what, maybe to, to allow it to be a little bit more neutral to when people come in. And I, and I, and I applaud that lawyer and, uh, and uh, pray, Lord, pray the Lord bless him and keep him going forward because he, he straightforward told her. He said that that's the last thing that you want to do. Be clear cut about what your, how your church stands on things. That, that's the way each and every one of us need to be. We need to be clear cut because our God's clear cut. The one we serve is clear cut. He, he makes no, uh, no, no uh, problems about it. Uh, he, he speaks straightforward. It's very comprehensive today that you can understand what he expects out of you. And so I'm going to tell you right now, to think that you can go back to normal, think you can go back to the way we were doing things, that's not why God allowed this to happen. God allowed this to happen that you may learn it, that you may take a growth from this, that we, when we come back, we're better than ever. And not, not anything that we've done, but what God has done. God is expected to be better than ever. His kingdom is expected to be better than ever. So therefore, when we trust that, it's a new normal. The new normal is proceeding forward. The new normal is doing whatever we can to make sure that those, uh, those that are out there in the world that don't know him are here in the gospel. So I'm going to tell you what, I pray that none of us are found going back and getting back to normal. Because I'm going to tell you what, I believe it's the wrong direction. You know what, I believe it's a step back. Like it was said this morning, once again, I was called to be a peculiar treasure to God. That's what he, that's what he, he called me and what he'll make me into. You know what? So if you choose to go back to that, uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you, uh, I, I, think, I think we might have made mention of this too, but complacency kills. The church without a vision will surely perish. You know what? We want to continue back on the way that we're going. Go ahead. But I'm going to tell you what, if you want to be a part of God and part of what he's got in store for us, uh, you know what, I, I, like I said, I, I, I've seen a lot of statements being made about how, uh, you know what, old devil thought he probably closed up these churches. But uh, uh, you know what, in fact, uh, uh, God placed one inside every household. And I, you know what, I'm thankful for that today. Eh? That's the best thing I can think of this morning about how everything's going out of this. I know there are people that are hurting. I know that, the, that, it, that it gets us all down and out from time to time. But I, you know what, I want to remind you about the book of Exodus. You know what, when the book of Exodus, the children of Israel started out in a very gloomy state. They were, they were slaves. They were held against their will. They, they had no good thing. But uh, I want to encourage you to read through, though, how it goes from that, that gloomy story, but it turns into a story of glory. It turns into one that it goes from doom, uh, from doom and gloom all the way up to that glorious outcome that God brought them out of that, of that trial within their life. And he'll do the same for us today because he's a God that changes not. You know what? That's God's normal. So let's get to that. And if we're like that right there, we'll never be normal again. So you know what, I'm going to tell you what, I, that's what the Lord laid on my heart today, and I, I hope and pray that it's blessed you, and more than anything, I hope that you've taken something from it, because you know what, I'm going to tell you, I, I, it's not just my desire that Faith General Baptist Church uh, uh, grow and get and, and get closer to the Lord, and, I, and it is my prayer to do that, and I, each and every one of you on here, I love you, and I, and I want to see it happen, but I'd like to see it happen within all the churches across the land. Uh, it's not about self-promotion right now, once again, it is about promoting God in the lives, in the families, in the household that we see today, that we're living in this country right now that's turning further and further away from them. The normal today is not standing next to God. It's not standing at the hand being at the forefront of the family. It's gotten out of proportion today of what it originally was set up to be. And that's the way God wants to get us back to. I do believe that with all my heart. I'm not telling you that, I, that I've got a new revelation or anything. That he tells us that over and over again, this word right here that's been written many years ago. So let's trust in it this morning. And look to the Word of God. Seek out the old path, because I believe they're in life a good way. So, all right, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer, and after this, we'll soon close. Dear Lord, we thank you once again for the opportunity to make the sand today, dear Lord. And we thank you for the provision uh, that you've given us, dear Lord, and uh, to maybe uh, be able to get you a portion of your Word out today. We pray, dear Lord, as it goes out, uh, that, it, that it'll touch the hearts of men, and uh, uh, that it'll put, it'll put us in our place where we need to be, dear Lord. In uh, other words, that you can mold us into what you have us be. Uh, uh, you got our attention, dear Lord. And uh, I thank you for that. Uh, I know that sometimes we're hard-headed. And uh, uh, you know what we get about our own selves. And thank you for chastising us and uh, uh, putting us back in the way that we need to be. That you can maybe direct our paths in each and every way that you see fit, dear Lord. And we thank you for the church and uh, uh, for all it stands for today. Uh, uh, we ask that you to strengthen them all across the land that to bring forth the truth, the word of God, dear Lord. And uh, I would pray that you just give them what they stand in need of. Uh, uh, to gather them on a little further, dear Lord, down the road. And uh, uh, you know what, as, as it goes on, uh, if we're being your revivals that be had this, uh, uh, maybe in the next couple months, dear Lord, we ask that your spirit flow through throughout, dear Lord, that you just come by and your presence will remain within them, dear Lord. And uh, uh, we ask all these things in Jesus' blessed holy name. Amen. We love you and God bless you.